Heather's cousin grabbed her and began stomping on her, or stepping, or whatever. He began beating her up, too. Just like that, before you can actually kill her. Heather got up and did the finishing job herself. And my other kids were slaughtered as well by the hands of her brother. My youngest daughter stood there in Horace as Heather approached and I was forced to watch all of this happen. But in rage, I pushed her maid off of me and I charged at Heather first. I slammed her into the wall. She already eaten my daughter, but I could at least make the odds even. Her mate got up and tried to attack, but I used my tail to knock him out. Or to, yeah, I aimed at her cousin, and I crushed and I snapped his neck. Heather's son tried to attack as well, but I whipped, but it turned out quickly enough, and I picked him up, and I crushed him in my jaws, and I slammed him down. Heather got up. She saw what happened and told her brother and her mate to leave. As they left, she, she told me that this was not to be the last time she saw me. And, she, and that was the last time I saw her. And just like that, my entire family is killed. My children. My mate. She was at her. She was dying. I tried telling her to get up, but she wasn't getting out because she was too weak. But at a dying moment, she told me this. No matter what, dear, don't give up. For our sake, move on. Find someone who can make you happy. And no matter what, avenge us. My love. And just like that, I was alone. Just like that, I became the last T Rex. And just like that, I was alone. I tried finding any numbers of my species. For the past five years. And I realized that I am truly the last T-Rex alive. And all that remains of my family is this skeleton. Or their bones. That's why I'm kind of a sad dinosaur, honestly. That kind of sounds a lot like what happened to Allison.
Well, what do you mean? Who is this Allison? Allison, she's a, uh, she's a Tarbosaurus. She kind of had something. She kind of had like a little accident that was very similar to yours. Actually. Do tell. Well, she's another, another member of our pack. We don't know where she's at now because we got separated in the Stampede about two years ago. But she had a family. She had a loving, caring mate and had at least around 10 offspring, I think. She had like five older sons and, well, yeah, she had five sons and five daughters. They were preparing in school on a family hunt, but one day, tragedy struck and a pack of acrocanthosaurs, I believe, came in and killed her family. Almost the exact same way on how this Heather and her family killed your family. White Fang, you're not alone. We had incidents that were very similar to your little incident. I guess I'm not alone after all. Where are you guys even going anyways? Where are we going? Yeah. Well. Well. We're kind of trying to find this valley that's kind of hidden called a Hidden Valley, I think. Or something very similar to that. I don't really know. But we heard those Diplodocus talking... We heard of Diplodocus talking about it, and... You really going to believe a word that those... old big fat motherfuckers are going to say? Uh... Yeah? The Hidden Valley is a myth. I should know because my mate and I tried to find it one time, and it turns out it was just nothing but a false little thing. Just made up. Those Diplodocus made it up so they can find a new area to have all the vegetation to themselves. They're nothing but greedy little little freakers. And yet, their blood tastes like turkey gravy. Which is so freaking good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, their blood does taste really good. But if it's but if it's a myth, then where are we gonna go? Hmm. I think I might know a place where we can stay. It's gonna be very hot, but. At least it'll be better than this place. And what will that place be? California.